You can sit. <laughs> we just finished talking about DNA replication. Do you remember what was important from that module? The DNA was double after replication, right? So what does the cell do with twice as much DNA that it needs? Well, that's what this module is all about. We're going to talk about what happens next, or what happens after the DNA is replicated. The next step is called mitosis. Mitosis? What does that even mean? Well, to understand mitosis, you need to know what chromosomes are. Isn't a chromosome just a bunch of DNA? Chromosomes are very long DNA molecules that are tightly condensed and coiled around some histone proteins. So a chromosome is a lot of DNA, double helixes, twisted tightly around proteins? Exactly. Now every organism has a different number of chromosomes. We are going to use humans as an example. Each human cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes. So an 85-year-old man like me has cells with 23 chromosomes? And a newborn baby has cells with 23 chromosomes too? That is correct. Now each pair of chromosomes has two chromatids. When we talk about mitosis, the big idea to remember is that mitosis is the simple duplication or a, of a cell in all of its parts. So the cell is duplicating or doubling its DNA as well as everything inside? Yeah. It doubles the DNA and creates two new cells that have the same pieces and genetic code. You have two identical copies that come from one original. So we start with one cell and get two that are the same? Okay, you got it. Now there are certain steps that the cell goes through in mitosis. We can remember this by the term ipmatsy. Ipmatsy? What does that mean? Ipmatsy is an acronym for the phases of the cell cycle. We can break the stages down into interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. A way to remember it is, I passed my algebra test. Cool. It Betsy. I got it. We will start with prophase. In prophase, the cell gets the idea that it's time for it to divide. The DNA has already replicated or has made a copy of itself during interphase, and now in prophase, the centrioles move to the right spot to prepare for the great divide of the cell. In prophase, DNA replicates. What's next? Metaphase. Metaphase is when all of the pieces are lining up for the big split. The DNA lines up along the middle of the cell and the DNA, or chromatin, has condensed into chromosomes. There's two strands of chromosomes that are connected at the center with a centromere. The DNA is wound up in chromosomes. Notice the two chromatids and the centromere here in the center. These two diagrams show prophase and metaphase, which are the first two stages of mitosis. In metaphase, the DNA or chromatin are now combined into chromosomes, and two chromosomes connect with a centromere. And this all happens in the middle of a cell? Yeah, we can remember this by thinking metaphase means middle. Next is anaphase. This is when the separation occurs. Half of the chromosomes are pulled to one side of the cell, and half go to the other way. We can remember this by anaphase pulls chromosomes apart. Anaphase pulls apart. Got it. Telophase is the grand finale. In telophase, the nuclear membrane forms around the chromosomes to make two nuclei. The cell starts to split into two pieces. Now you have... These are the second and, I'm sorry, these are the third and fourth stages of mitosis, anaphase and telophase. Two separate cells with each half of the original DNA. While mitosis is division of the nucleus, now we go into cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. Telophase occurs followed by cytokinesis, which causes the cytoplasm to split a cell into two. What do those two cells do now? Now, cytokinesis occurs when the cytoplasm actually divides in two, creating two new cells. Well, the two new cells, which we call daughter cells, will enter a normal state of existence. This phase is called interphase, and it is where the newly developed cells go about their daily business of making sure there is enough energy and nutrients. It is also getting ready for another division that will happen later on. So, the new daughter cells will eventually go into cell division process? Like a cycle? 
Exactly. These new cells will enter prophase and go through the entire cycle to make new daughter cells of their own. Mitosis is a part of the cell cycle. Notice down here in this diagram there is M, G1, S, and G2. Uh, the next video is going to give you details on that. Mitosis is just one part of it, and uh, you'll see where it all fits in soon. Okay, so in prophase, our DNA has already been replicated, and our nuclear membrane is starting to dissolve. The next step is metaphase, and that's whenever our chromosomes align in the middle. Next is anaphase, and our chromosomes have been pulled apart. Telophase has split the nucleus, and after that, the cytoplasm will split in cytokinesis to give us two new daughter cells. Notice the position of the chromosomes in each state of, stage of mitosis. The coach is going to explain them to us now. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, cytokinesis. Again. Use your newly learned hand signals to model prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase.